Am I going to be a movie star or what? San Francisco, the beautiful city by the bay, you know, and uh, make everybody feel good about San Francisco. People right here, they're very nice people. And they say they like the music, so I try to get over here every day. My name is Lucia Segura, and I commute from Pittsburgh Bay Point. I think BART is an important role in the Bay Area of culture. Yes, because transportation in San Francisco is horrendous. Um, and BART makes it easier um, to commute. Um, taking the bridge is just, it's pretty bad. Very convenient. I sit on the train 45 minutes and drive to the station from Livermore 10 minutes. There's not too many hiccups. I get in early in the morning and leave four o'clock in the afternoon, so I can hopefully catch a seat, although I'm usually standing while I'm going home. So being a commuter on BART, um, I think because of people being involved in their phones, things like that, you're pretty much just um, concentrating your intent on getting to your destination, whether it's to work or to home, and um, and just absorbed in that rather than interacting with people. I really don't interact with people because everybody's just on their phones, so not really. <laughs> Watching people on the on the BART, they're constantly on their phone. You know, back home we wonder like. Why would anyone need to download, you know, and have all their stuff on their phone? Well, it's exactly for their transit because they're spending 55 minutes in, you know, commute each way. And so they're all, there's no conversations going on on the BART. It is all glued to their phone. The earbuds are in. Okay, this morning I got on BART and there was a really strong smell. And I said to a gentleman, let's not inhale <laughs> because... Um, as you guys know, I mean, back in the day, it didn't smell that strong. It smells a lot stronger now. So it must be stronger. Anyway, <laughs> I come from Berkeley into the city and back. You know, people are reading their newspapers. They are mostly on their phones. Some people are sleeping. I take a nap or I start playing games or just close my eyes and ignore the heat from BART, ignore the crowd, and that's it. I totally peek at people's phones. I usually don't even take mine out because I feel like everybody's watching the whole time. Um, but yeah, uh, you're like, I don't know, I've watched people text people and like kind of get all nosy like that. And I'm not really weird about space, but if someone else was, it's definitely not that comfortable. Well, I don't really ride in rush hour, thankfully. Um, if I have to work overtime and after five, then yes, I usually ride the BART train maybe four or five stops backwards in order to get a seat so I don't feel like I'm in the walkway or the, the aisle way to where you're feeling overcrowded. There's been those instances where it's been a little bit heated because it gets so crowded, and it's, whether it's body heat or just people's attitudes, and yeah, it can feel very uncomfortable. During certain hours, especially during like rush hours, uh -huh. when people are getting out of work or going to work, it is kind of uncomfortable because not everyone gets to go ahead and sit down and like just read a book or be on their phone. I mean, I think that's just a part of like taking public transportation. You know, like you can't expect it to be pleasant all the time. You know, 
know, it depends on what kind of a mood you're in. If you're in a mood that things are gonna bug you, things are gonna bug you. It doesn't matter what they are. If you're in an okay mood and you can have a sense of humor about it, Bart's cool. And a very diverse group of, uh, of people and coming from all walks of life and some tourists like us and uh, some people that uh, just made it for a great conversation for the kids of, uh, you know, this is different types of life choices that are made. All kinds of people, all kinds of people. You see people dressed up on their way to work. You see people um, with their earbuds in. Uh, you see people who are clearly homeless. You see lots of people, mothers and children. When you're on BART, kind of anything happens. There's, you know, people screaming and yelling and some guy freaking out or some, you know, it's some kind of dispute. Like, you'll see that to, like, people just playing music to the guys that, like, dance through the hall, like, you know, when, um, when you're riding throughout the city and play the music and do all the crazy arm stuff. Um, so yeah, I think you're just kind of ready for anything, even at like 7 a.m. when you're getting on BART going to work or school. Embarcadero Station is really aesthetically pleasing. When you when you get off right in the middle of the city, it's kind of like that idea. If you've never been to San Francisco, I'm sure tourists love it because it's like all the high building and then you look out and there's a ferry building. And I love the ferry building. I love the market inside. And when you go on, you know, on the deck right there, it's so pretty. Yeah, you know what? Uh, as far as riding it again, our family would absolutely do it. It was a great experience for us. It was a new experience and a little sketchy at times, but uh, overall, it was a good experience. We'll do it. I mean, I feel like a lot of us couldn't get anywhere <laughs> if we didn't have bar. Um, it's just like super convenient, even if you live like in the East Bay or, you know, towards Melbourne or the airport. Yeah. I feel like you just couldn't get anywhere without it. 